the great Spartan. What's up guys, Crazy Spartan here, and today i got some gameplay here for you with some Griff Ball. Get a nice quick little triple kill right off the beginning, and a first strike. That's the way to start a Griff Ball match right there. I had a lot of fun here guys, I'm playing with a couple of my good friends. Uh, I believe it's Rapscallion uh, and um, Elite Assassin, and we're just having a lot of fun um, at playing this. Now the one thing I wanted to really put out here guys is that personally I cannot stream. I, I just don't have the internet capabilities to really make it effective. I can stream, but the quality is really not good. Um, I tried. I have tried. Uh, even uh, multiplayer games like this is just forget it. I get so laggy, so bad, uh, so quick. Um, however, I do have a friend of mine that does stream quite a bit, and his name is, of course, Rapscallion and have a lot of fun and he has been really streaming a lot lately which is really nice uh, get those uh, Halo game fixes on and he invites players that are in his stream uh, to come on in and enjoy some Halo action now he plays all sorts of stuff like I said Griff Ball right here as you're watching here uh, a lot of BTB especially when uh, the subs or the followers on his stream do get in there um, and the party becomes just too big for regular 4v4s. Uh, so there is that, guys. Uh, he does do that a lot, and that's really fun to watch. Um, I watch when I can, and, of course, I do promote on my Twitter. Uh, if you always want to check that out, uh, I'm always kind of doing that for uh, people that are out there and creating content for Halo. I really am. I just love that. Um, people are out there still doing it even two years plus into this uh, Halo cycle. But actually that kind of brings up the question here. I mean, I think it's a very valid question. Uh, we have had absolutely zero news. Zero news of uh, Halo 6. Now, there is a theory. There is a theory out. Uh, and, and of course, absolutely none of this is confirmed. None, none, none whatsoever. However, uh, there was an article, I believe it was posted on Twitter somewhere, that it's being considered, again, none of this is confirmed, uh, is that it's being considered that the next Halo series is going to have a big team battle type of thing, much like PUBG or, uh, what's the other one, Fortnite. Personally, I know these, these games are somewhat popular right now, and I I don't know. I, I just cannot see a Halo game with that aspect. I just don't don't even want to see that, to be honest. Uh, personally, like Warzone, which is uh, 12v12, um, even that is just just not for me. However, I do know a lot of people out there do like the Warzone, like the craziness, like all that other stuff. However, for me, it's just not a thing. Uh, I, I get so frustrated really quickly. I don't like the randomness to it, but I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of people do. They can spawn in their super weapons and just pick off people uh, pretty much as they spawn. It's just, it, to me, it's just not a fun, not not a fun game type. Um, it's not something I really enjoyed. But if you do like it, by all means, enjoy it. But that is the rumor, and again, none of it's been confirmed at all. Uh, but uh, I just kind of want to throw my, my thoughts on it because to me it's just it's just a little bit too much, I think, uh, for a Halo game, at least a, a, a standard Halo game. I just kind of want my 4v4s and my basic playlists and, and just really good gun gameplay, which the more and more stuff and gimmicky stuff you add to uh, a game like Halo, I think the the more frustrating it becomes because it just it's just too much randomness and I think they've tried it in the past obviously with Halo 4 uh, just a lot of randomness you had no idea what anybody had at any given time uh, on gameplay and it was just frustrating and the Master Chief version it's actually a lot better uh, it runs smoother uh, there's less random stuff uh, I'm meaning they took out that infinity dropping stuff uh, which is fine, 
which is good, which I, it makes the gameplay so much better. Um, but that's uh, my thoughts on that. It's just I don't like the randomness. And I believe that if they did go with a um, version like that, like a PUBG or Fortnite, I would actually probably be rather upset. It's just not something I really enjoyed. And I did try. I did try. I did try Fortnite. I played Fortnite. I tried matches and I just got so frustrated. It's just, it reminds me too much of Warzone, except you have uh, only one life, and cause, just because of the random factors. The randomness of it, I just don't like. Um, but that's me. That, that's my thoughts on Halo, man. I don't like the randomness uh, that other games have, which is why I love Halo, because there is very little randomness, um, unless you specifically look for it, like Fiesta or something like that. Um, absolutely, absolutely. That's just it's just frustrating to me. But I just wanted to throw that out to you guys. Just let you see and take a think. Uh, see what you guys think about that. Now this is one crazy griff ball match. As you can see, we are actually down by three at this point. We're having a rough time pushing this through, uh, <laughs> which is actually really funny, guys. Uh, I, I remember this night quite well as we were playing, having some griff ball, and we came up against a team I, I, I don't know if it's a professional griff ball team uh, we're just kind of some random scrubs just in there having fun trying to do different things just having fun <laughs> here we are zero and four. Oh, it's so rough and <laughs> I quickly realized that these are some hardcore players man griff ball you might think is a casual game no griff ball is probably the most competitive game type in this game uh, period I just I never thought so I never thought so until I really started coming up and played some of these uh, full teams of griff ball players man it was crazy uh, they're doing these slide hammer moves and uh, it was just like wow of course we started incorporating that ourselves and we do okay we do okay but it was actually just a lot of fun uh, playing a little something different. As I don't normally play Griff Ball. Um, just because I like my shooty shooty uh, pew 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 type thing. And this is definitely not shooty shooty. But it's still different and it is of course always fun when you play with friends. Now one of the things I have been doing as you probably realize since uh, my last uh, post. Um, is that I have been starting to play The Division again. Now, I've actually really have been enjoying that, which is really nice because it's just, it's a little different. It is a break from Halo. Uh, of course, I love Halo and I'm always going to love Halo. However, uh, I do love to venture off into other games and the Division really seems to be fitting that spot right now quite well. Um, I love the team gameplay of it, especially when you are with a team and you are trying to help each other out and you're taking down these really big and powerful bosses because uh, man there are some of them there's some of them that are just bears uh, to take down and uh, it is it is a really good time uh, for me I, I really have been enjoying that um, that aspect of it uh, if you like destiny uh, destiny 1 and you're kind of frustrated with destiny 2 I highly recommend Highly recommend just going out and checking out the division because man that is actually a really fun game it's a looter shooter type of thing and uh, I think it's gonna be a fun little uh, uh, getaway every now and then just to play and have fun now, of course I'd love to have some people to play with on that but you never know you never know we'll see we'll see I know a lot of people um, <laughs> at least on my feed line or my uh, my Twitter I have uh, I haven't really played it or of course they're focused on Fortnite or PUBG or something like that so it's kind of frustrating look at me spawn killing oh, and spawn dying <laughs> that's the trick guys if you're gonna play Griff Ball try to sneak behind their enemy lines and then uh, just spawn kill I know it's kind sound of mean however it does give the other team opportunity oops betrayal <laughs> yep betrayal it does give the other team opportunities to uh, to push that ball forward because they don't have as many players 
pushing uh, our our defenses. So it really is kind of nice, and it's really easy to do. And yeah, you can get some awesome multi kills that way. <laughs> Well, here we are. Actually, we are now two and four, which is really amazing. Uh, we they were just kind of all over us, but I think we just kind of figured stuff out, and we're actually using some strategies here. I'm just kind of looking for somebody, anybody, anybody at all. Oh, nope, missed him. <laughs> and I'm actually kind of call out every now and then, as you can see here. Throw the ball. It is an awesome mechanic, and we get the score. Sweet. Them pro strats, boys. Them pro strats. All right, we are three and four, and they actually really did not expect that, which is awesome because most people don't. Unless you are the professional grift ball players, that is actually something the uh, casual players just really don't expect. So definitely a strategy to try uh, if you are playing. But you got to be with friends, and at least, or at least you got to be uh, hooked up with a mic, uh, because otherwise it just. Uh, Really hard to pull that stuff off. But here we are, here we are, here we are. Oh, so close. We almost lost it there. Oh, just so much fun. Man, just had a lot of fun, guys. I, I don't care. Uh, I, I mean, Halo 5 is frustrating in some ways, but I still have a lot of fun with it. Um, I, I really, to be honest, I 100% honestly want to say I wish the... Uh, Halo 5 Forge was in Halo 2 Anniversary, and boy, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. The amount of stuff people could create for a Halo 2 Anniversary type of game, uh, it just it gives me goosebumps. It really does. Just thinking about that. I know we had uh, a pretty, pretty decent um, uh, forge mode in Halo 2 Anniversary, which was nice. And here I am sitting at the goal again, and nobody's paying attention to me. Oh, just one guy. Just one guy. Nope, nope, he ran away. <laughs> they, they threw the ball at me, but I just got quickly swamped. Oh, well. But still, oh man. I personally, personally, I'm really kind of hoping for a more classic based Halo in Halo 6. I don't think we're going to get it. But I think a classic based Halo is just going to be a better game uh, period for many reasons. And I do want to get into that as to why I think that would be a case. And it's not just because of nostalgia. I think it really does uh, would fill a certain niche in the market these days. Because if you look at every other shooter these days, every other shooter, every other FPS, there, there's flying around, jumping around, going crazy. And it's just, it's, uh, it, they're all the same, more or less. I mean, different aspects of it, like gameplay uh, a little bit, but it's uh, mass mobility uh, gameplay. But anyways, this game is just about ready to wrap up. As you can see, we have tied the game and just trying to break the lines here, break the lines, see what we can do. And there it is. There it is, victory. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.